Hello everyone, welcome to another Blender Tutorial Tuesday tutorial. Today we are doing a tutorial on how to make a Monster Cat style audio visualizer. So let's get into it. Um, this tutorial was requested by Xavier Del Tom, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this tutorial was requested by Xavier, I think that's how you pronounce it, Xavier Del Tom one week ago, as you can see on that picture. Um, and he said, can you make a Monster Cat audio visualizer, please? So I am going to make that today. So we are going to make that today. So let me delete this default cube to start off. Delete that. And before you do anything, before you even start Blender, you need to add in, well, you could actually, you don't even have to start. You could have Blender open, but you just have to put the plugin or the add-on in the plugins folder so you go to um, I'll put the location where you you can usually find the add-ons I'll put that location in the description as well as the download link for the add-on um, and the, the plugin we're going to be using the let's see what is it called GXAV I believe it's um, audio visualizer, Bake Spectrum Visualizer by Sound File. This the author is Slow Slowomir Kur Gethwix. Um, you can download that in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Once you've downloaded the the add-on, add it into the scripts add-ons folder within Blender. Now you can start by um, enabling it in the settings in the user preferences and then um, actually using it. Okay, so now that you've um, added the plugin into the folder, the correct folder in Blender, scripts and add-ons folder, you will need to look for it in this browser in the user preferences window. So if you just search for animation GXAV or if you just find it while scrolling through, you can also select disabled and you can find the plugin with all the disabled plugins. So all the plugins that you haven't enabled yet. And you can just do GX. If you type in GX, you can find it right there. You click on this little check box right here and it, en it enables it right away. And then you can just click save user settings right here down in the bottom left corner. And once you've done that, it will save the settings and now let's go ahead and go to the scene tab, as I like to call it. Um, let's go to the GX audio visualization area. This is where the settings are for this. Just ignore the spectrum maker, that's something else. And what we need to do now, once we've done everything else, we need to click on create visualizer base. And that creates the base of the audio visualizer. And now the next step to changing this audio visualizer, um, to creating the right, the audio visualizer we want, um, we'll be putting the left and right file, which it can, it can just be the same file for the song that you're putting on your, for your audio visualizer. Um, of course there's um, the count X and space X. So we're going to change the um, there's also slash. The slash moves it towards the camera, or would be towards the camera. Let's go ahead and do that now since I mentioned it. Let's go to front view, and let's set the camera facing straight on towards this audio visualizer. And let's actually go ahead and go into the camera options or camera settings. Let's change this to orthographic so that it's just perfectly straight, facing straight on. There we go. Okay, so now let's go back to the scene. This is the scene tab in Blender. And let's change 
the Z on the object scale, I believe it was. Or it might have been space array. Yeah, it's the space array, so it's the just like an array modifier if, you have, if you've ever used one. It basically just makes the array, so the space between each object that, that's arrayed, um, it makes the distance, it changes the distance right here. So let's change this to one, and now it's just like the Monster Cat, Monster Cat style audio visualizer, the way that the, they don't have any spaces between, or there's, there's not like, um, there aren't little cubes like there were right here. Um, so let's just go ahead and set it to one so that they're all really close together. And let's go ahead and get the, the audio we want. So the music, search for the music that you're using for your audio visualizer. I think I'm going to pick some music. Let's see what music would I like today. I think I will use this music right here. So I'm going to select it, select both of these. So go to the same song. You'll have to go to the same song twice. So you open the left and right file, and they're both going to be the same audio. So make sure you put the same song in both the left and right channels. Okay, so let's set Another very important thing, we need to set the start frame to zero or to one so that it's actually at the very beginning. So it starts, otherwise it would start at 100, which we don't want it to do. So let's set it to zero, or you can just set it to one. I just usually set it to zero so that it just goes blank, just goes to the very beginning, just to make sure it goes to the beginning. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click Bake Animation Data, and that will bake this audio visualizer to the song that we put in the these two left and right file um, slots here. So let's click on bake animation data and let's wait for this to bake. I'll be right back when it's done baking. Okay, so it's done baking, and now if you play this, it will automatically start moving. And as you can see, it looks a little bit, you know, I don't know, too small. Because usually if you look at the Monster Cat audio visualizers, they're really long or like pretty big compared to this one. So what you can do is just change the scale I think, no, it's not scale, it's count. That's just the scale of each cube, like this, yeah. So what we want to do is change the count. So let's change the count on the x-axis. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that and then rebake it, and you'll have a longer audio visualizer with more um, parts to it, basically. More little spectrum things moving. So you can just change it to something like, I don't know, 80. And then just move the camera out. Move it out like this. Just grab it. Move it on the x-axis. No, not the x-axis. The y-axis. Or actually, no, no, no. If you have it, if camera in orthographic view, you don't change, you can't move it. It won't affect anything really. So you have to change the orthographic scale that's what will change the view, or like the size of the view area. So you have to change the orthographic scale. And there we go, now we've scaled it out so that it fits in within the camera area. And I think that looks better. Um, I don't know what you think, but you can change it to however you like with all of these settings. You can change the scale of each cube, each um, line within this audio spectrum. And you can change the count like I just did. And then you all you have to do after you change the count is rebake animation data. And it will rebake it. And there will be more more of those lines moving around and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how to make the Monster Cat audio visualizer. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Xavier Deltom, for requesting that tutorial.
One more thing I can give, uh, one more tip I might want to give you is when you are saving, when you add a lot of add-ons, one thing I usually do is I save the startup file. Um, See, so it says make the current file the default blend file, and it, cl it includes the preferences. So if you if you um, add a bunch of add-ons and stuff, if you enable a bunch of add-ons, you might want to also click on save startup file, just so that it saves the startup file like it is. But usually I don't I don't create something in Blender and then click on that. I usually start Blender, add all the add-ons I want, and then click on Save Startup File or Control Use. That's you could do you could use that because it's a shortcut. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, for liking, commenting, everything. It has been an awesome year, 2015. Um, you guys are awesome. It's just. It's just been amazing. I, I didn't even think I would doing Blender tutorials like this. Um, I really enjoy doing this. This is actually my only, this is basically one of the ways um, that I, this is my full-time job basically, making tutorials for you. So if you want to support me, you can go in the description below. You can click on the donate link. You can also buy one of my songs or you can subscribe to me. There's many ways you can support me. You have already supported me a lot, but those are some of the ways you can support me. And yeah, so go ahead and you can also click on the support button. I think it's somewhere up there on my channel. If you're on my channel, you go, there's this blue support button and you can donate as much as you want, as little as you want. Um, it would really help me to support me and for upgrades, for anything new, um, for travel, if I need to be able to travel, um, if I need a new camera for Blender tutorials or things like that, it just really helps if you donate. So if you can, then please do. Um, you are awesome. Thanks for supporting, and I will see you next Tutorial Tuesday. If not Tutorial Tuesday, then another day when I can make a tutorial which hopefully will be pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys next time.